Hi everyone, hello, hello. Uh, so, um, my name is Zoriana, um, and I would like to welcome you at my page, Digital English Teacher. Today we have a very special uh, broadcast um, that um, I have already invited a guest to, and her name is um, Monica. Today with Monica we're going to talk about language coaching or more specifically neuro language coaching. Um, as an emerging trend in um, language teaching. So I'm waiting for her to join. And she's already here. So Monica, hello to you. Um, okay. Has to be here in just a second. Okay, so Monica, today, as I was saying, today we have gathered with you just to bring a little bit more clarity to this, mm -hmm. you know, very popular uh, nowadays trend um, that uh, is called neuro language coaching. I know that many mm -hmm. of you guys, uh, like the followers, they are interested. Obviously, our uh, fellow colleagues, they are interested in this approach. They want to learn more. They, they probably have brought some questions, which we will be answering after our um, interview session. So do feel free mm -hmm. to uh, put your questions because I will definitely, I will be scrolling those down. So if you have a question just along the way, um, put it down. We will uh, discuss those questions right after we finish. Uh, so, okay. Monica, uh, just before we deep dive into the subject itself, can I please ask you uh, to tell me a couple of words about you, uh, your professional, educational background, or whatever you want to tell us? So, please share. Yes. <laughs> uh, my story, I'll try to be very short. Uh, my name is uh, Monica Barnes Farnes in Spanish and Catalan. Uh, I was born in a very tiny village uh, near the Pyrenees 42 years ago. And mm -hmm. now I live in Barcelona with my family and my cat, where I have my, yes, where I have my language uh, coaching, uh, my, yeah, my language coaching business from Barcelona to the world. And it's called Learn with Passion. And, uh, well, since I was a child, I had three passions, actually. Uh, talking about learning with passion, I have three passions. Okay. My passions were books, languages, and people. So, oops, one second. So when uh, maybe these, these passions led me to study translation and interpreting uh, mm -hmm. as a university degree. And while being at the university, I also underwent a program in order to be a Spanish language teacher for foreigners. So when I started, when I finished my degree, I left my country and I started traveling to the world and teaching at the same time. And this led me to, um, brought me to Germany and to Great Britain, where I, where I carry on uh, teaching while studying at the university. I studied politics, enlightenment, philosophy, ethics, and languages. And I was there for a while. But I was missing home, Sariana. I wanted to come back to Barcelona. I needed to come back. So Everyone said, wants to come back to Barcelona. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, this is mm -hmm. what happened to me. So uh, I came back and I started working in one of my other passions, that was book. I was in the publishing field for 15 years in different positions, production manager, editorial manager, event manager, international relationships manager. And while being there, I also held field to improve their communication in English. So I carried on teaching. I never left teaching. Um, and 2011 was a turning point for me. I decided to leave the, the publishing field and create my own uh, language uh, teaching business at that time. Okay. Okay. And one year later, my beloved daughter Julia was born. And from then on, my perspective on business completely changed. From 2012 on, I am an entrepreneur, so a mother and an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur. And my objective is very clear and simple. I want to have a successful business that gives me work-life balance. That this is what I want and this is what I have. So I'm very happy about that. And from 2016, I started implementing intuitively some coaching techniques. 
to my session, but I wanted to know more. I knew there was more out there. But in Spain, in Barcelona, Madrid, there were no uh, programs that could tackle what I needed and what I wanted. That's why I, well, I, I just went outside the world and I started looking for what I wanted. And thank God I found Rachel Mary Pelling, <laughs> a big hack and no, a key hack from here. Rachel, wherever you are. <laughs> um, and yes, and I got accredited by the ICF and International Coach Federation thanks to her program, thanks to her method uh, as a neuro language coach. And I'm very, very happy. Perfect, perfect. So I hope, fingers crossed, that Rachel uh, is watching us. Even if she doesn't, um, she probably will, will watch it just a little bit later. Uh, so, Monica, thanks a lot for sharing. Um, now that we've touched upon a little bit the neural language coaching as a term and as a definitely a, a new progressive approach to teaching, mm -hmm. can you tell more? Uh, because the term itself sounds a little bit complex. So what it, what it is, like, can you explain in simple terms? Yes, definitely, definitely. Actually, it is, it is a new learning, language learning approach. It is true. This has nothing to do with traditional learning uh, at all. And it's mainly because we blend coaching, neuroscience, and emotional intelligence techniques with the language learning process itself, okay? So first I'm going to tell you what we don't do, so it's clear what we are not. Yeah, okay. simple. <laughs> we are not teachers, so we, we don't uh, follow a book, we don't have a linear curriculum learning CV uh, for our learners, we don't tell our learners what to learn, we don't tell our learners how they should be learning, uh, we don't... Um, um, ask for answers to our learners, but we we ask for powerful questions, and and we place our learners in the center of the learning universe. So I'm trying to do something. Let's see if it works. I'm going to shift the camera. Let's see if you can see my website because I have just summarized what neural language coaching is in seven icons. Let's give it a try, right? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. So here we have, well, here in my case is a Spanish and Catalan. Can, so you, can you move it just a little bit to the bottom, like a little bit down? Okay, now we see like it. This? Yeah, like this, even, even a little bit more. Even a little bit more. Okay. Now? Yeah, okay. Now is it's visible. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we have neural language coaching in seven points, right? So first we have the language itself, of course. Uh, in my case, it's Spanish and Catalan, but we keep it in a centered way, okay? So the first thing is we talk, uh, number point, number two. We have a strong, powerful mix-analysis in order to understand the motivation of our learner, that this key is vital, and, and we do it through this neat analysis. So we don't have to motivate our learners, but we, we understand the motivation of our learners and this is the passion that is going to move them through the learning process and once we know the motivation that is key because because a learner without motivation is like a river without sea and uh, without yeah. water and therefore it's not going to reach the sea it's not going to reach the objective right so when the motivation is clear we go into coaching into powerful coaching questions so the learner finds that my goal they want to have, they need to have to our powerful questions they understand what they need to learn and what they want to learn. So this is part of the, excuse me, of the language coaching process. But we are not language coaches. We are neuro language coaches. Okay. That's why we go to point number four with neuroscience. We understand, we are trained to understand how the brain works, how the brain reacts, how people want to be treated depending on the way they are, because we are holistic human beings. Therefore, we implement different techniques so uh, our learners learn in a holistic way, the way they want to learn and learn the best. 
Okay, that's why we implement some neuroscience here. And also, in neuro language coaching, we connect the dots. This is very important, and Steve just said, uh, we do the same because we create breaches between the native uh, language of our, of our learners and the language they want to learn. Because we learn through association, and we learn that uh, from 2016 on with some studies. And so there's, there's, there's evidence that we learn like that. That's why we connect the language, the tribal language with the native language. And then we have powerful revision, powerful revision. So our, our learners evaluate themselves, and they are the ones who tell us when they have achieved their goals. So, so it's the opposite. Huh? So we, our learner is the center. We, we, they, they, he or she doesn't play a passive role. And that's why, sorry, me again. <laughs> that's why they feel empowered. Huh? They feel empowered. Absolutely. Because we are no one to, to, to tell them what they have to learn and how they have to learn and they decide. And as they decide, they feel responsible. They feel empowered. They, and they succeed. And may I say that we use some techniques. I'm not going to discover everything here. It's our secret. No, no, no. But, for instance, silence. We give silence to the patients. They are so important. We don't finish the sentences for our learners. We, we give them time to think, time to talk. We don't correct them directly so they don't feel threatened. We ask for questions so then they understand why they made the mistake through these connections I'm talking to you and how they are not going to do, they are not going to make the mistake again. And we are empathic, but being empathic is not enough because then we could be into the emotion empathy and not, not uh, believing this pink elephant that we might have our glasses. So no, we have a cognitive empathy and we transform it into compassion. So we ask our learners, okay, I understand that you have this issue, how do you want me to help you? How do you think I could help you? Let's move from that, let's go into action. Yes. Um, and, and this gives them uh, the certainty that they are going to learn regardless of their blockages because we know how to deal with that. So to sum up, we make our learners dream big, work smart, connect with their heart and their brain so they finally succeed in what they want. How beautiful is that? Yeah, absolutely, Monica. Just I think it's it's a great explanation. <laughs> and by the way, the slide that you've seen uh, is already here, so uh, you can have a check. The link um, I have put down the link uh, just on the chat. Uh, so do feel free to visit. Monica has got really beautiful website uh, where, where I think she has brilliantly communicated the message um, that she has already explained. And you know, just may add also that uh, business-wise, it is also highly beneficial approach because it puts your client into the center. Whether you work for yourself or for a school, let's say, or for any educational, private educational establishment, it's still, uh, you know, a beneficial situation for, first of all, for the client. When client is happy, your maybe your, your boss is happy. Uh, if uh, your client is happy, you are happy. So it's sort of win-win situation that everyone can benefit from. So absolutely, absolutely um, a great tool uh, for an English teacher. Not, not a tool, I would say, just a different sort of um, teaching practice. Um, yeah, so Monica. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes sorry. May, may, I, may I add something? Yes, the key point here is that, as you said, we, we are, our learners are not passive anymore, are active, and this brings them into action, and this means that they are in charge yes. of their learning universe. So we leave, we, coaches, leave our ego outside the room, our limits outside the room, our ideas outside the room, and we concentrate on our learners. And that's why this power, this trust that you give to this person has results because they feel, they feel in control of what they, what they want, and that's why we are just there to, to guide them 
but they know what they want because they are really connected with their passion and their heart, and they know how to do it because they are really connected uh, through our needs analysis uh, with the best way they learn. So this connection is powerful, and this connection is, is gone thanks to our powerful coaching questions um, together with some neuroscience techniques. So yes, definitely. Yeah. Uh, the position changes. The position changes. That's why we have an equal status and not a teacher a student status. They are there, and we, we are near them the way they want us to be. That's it. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks for sharing, Monica. And um, I think that coaching uh, is quite a trend nowadays, and you can find lots of information on the Internet uh, to read, to explore. That's what, by the way, many educators do. And I've seen uh, from different profiles and from, from my colleagues as well uh, that they call themselves – they. they as just as you did, they intuitively implement uh, these coaching techniques into their teaching practice, and they call themselves language coaches. Um, so what was the trigger for you? What pushed you to take uh, the course? Because, you know, lots of information is out there. You, you can read, you can sort of Try get like maybe practice a little bit. Uh, so why did you take okay. the course and got certified in the first place? Because of my learner. I mean, I have said in 2016 I started implementing with no strategy whatsoever, yeah. intuitively. I am very honest about that. Some coaching techniques I had been learning or have been reading, as you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I started seeing some results. So I thought, oh my God, what would happen if I would really be trained on that in a solid way? What would happen if I could be accredited by the ICF as a neuro language? Well, I, I was thinking about language coach. Yes. But then I thought, but it's not enough. Being a language coach for me was not enough because I wanted, I knew that every brain is different and I knew that everybody wants to be approached in a different way. So this, this, Powerful holistic part was missing in the coaching. Yeah, 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 yeah. For me, absolutely. So I wanted to melt everything, blend everything, and that's why the the, the only option for me was neuro language coaching. Was Rachel's method, and it's not only for me because now we we have people in sixty five countries. We are five hundred coaches, neuro language coaches now worldwide. Mm -hmm. So it's not only me. It, it's a team in different countries for different languages, different ideologies, different ideas. Different. We are all different, but as we are all different, this method is great because we concentrate in every single brain. And this is what amazed me and empowered me, as well as the rest of the team worldwide. And you yeah, <laughs> are part of yeah. this team. So. Yeah, Monica, and um, okay, so you took the course, uh, you got certified and accredited neuro language coach. Um, did you feel this difference before and after finishing the course? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, I felt empowered. I felt happy because my students were happy. They saw the difference in every single session. And I may I say that this is very powerful. Therefore, you have to invest time in your transformation because it's a shift. A shift from teaching into neuro language coaching implies embracing all the training that you are given. And this is what I did after after the program. That I, I took my time. I started implementing step by step the technique. And I also during 2018, 2019, I've been spreading the word of my shift, so everybody understands what is neuro language coaching about, both in my Facebook and Instagram. That's why I wanted to create my own website, yeah. uh, learn with passion, so, so so it's understood because I have the need to spread this shit. But it's very important to understand that it comes from you. It comes from you as an neuro language coach. So you have to give yourself time so then you can share this knowledge with your learners and they can start this new learning process by by me placing them in the center of their learning process. 
Perfect. This is important. This was very important for me. Perfect. Thank you. Um, and um, just to give a, a little bit of information how we met, we actually met during the course that you took the second time. So uh, what made you take this course uh, the second time? Well, yes. Actually, first because I wanted to see Rachel again, because <laughs> she, the course was near Barcelona where I live, so I wanted to embrace her, I wanted to talk to her. Uh, and then because really, 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 I wanted to evaluate and review uh, um, what I had implemented. Because you cannot improve if you didn't check what you do. Okay, I came into action in 2018, 2018, but I wanted to really see if I had implemented what I wanted to implement. And I was happy because I, I, I could see, I could feel that I had done a good job during 2019. So this was perfect. It gave me the, um, the evaluation I wanted. Of course, you can always improve and implement some, some reviewed points that I just in, included in my, in my business according to what I want to achieve. So hmm? yeah. not only my sessions, but my business in general. And then also I wanted to meet Rachel because we were discussing all this shift from language coach, language teachers to never language coaches. This shift that implies time, implies time that you understand yourself, understand the type of business you want to create, um, adapting this method to who you are and to the type of customers you want to have. So we were thinking about creating a workshop for never language coaches only about personal branding. And that's why we also uh, met there. And I'm very happy to say that this workshop is going to be a reality soon at the end of November in Electra's website for neural language coaches only. So if you are a neural language coach who has finished the training and you want to work in your business and you have a lot of passion but you don't really know where to go, what to do, and you need a step-by-step -step guide and clear direction, um, may I say that I think this workshop could be for you. So please feel free to join. Uh, it's already advertised in Alexa's website and I think this is important because we do this program for our learners and for us to be happy with our businesses. Uh, so I think this is it's important to work in our personal brand in order to achieve all that. But this was the main reason also for creating this this, this workshop and for, and for sharing my experience and my mistakes because my mistakes <laughs> are my best gem. I make mistakes so I want to share it with, with my, my colleagues so they don't make these mistakes and they have they, they achieve their personal brand or business in a quicker way than I did in a more efficient way than I did investing energy in a step by step clear direction uh, in order to achieve the type of business they want. So I'm going to share in some skills um, and so they can implement them to who they are because you, we always say you have to know yourself before creating your business. I know you agree with this, but yeah, yeah. So, so this yeah. is the key point here. Yeah, so Monica, thanks a lot for sharing the information because I think working on your personal brand takes a lot of time and energy and it does help when someone who has already tried this, you know, uh, trial error pass, uh, can yes, tell, yes. can share, can maybe just sort of, I don't know, support, even support um, with his own example, or in our case, her own example. Uh, so it's great that you're doing this. And I will also would like to add that um, after finishing the course, you are not alone, uh, because we, um, I think we have very strong community, uh, very open-minded uh, people, professionals who do want to, you know, make a difference, um, mm -hmm. not only in students' lives, or in their clients' lives, but also like uh, within the community, like teaching community uh, overall. So, um, yeah, 
that's that's probably a great thing to have this support and um monica i also have a question as for the learners because once you finish the course uh, like was this transition an instant one so did you say something like okay now i'm a neuro language coach um, so you just announced that and you uh, dived uh, deep into this coaching uh, technique or it was ju just a step by step gradual transition well this is this is this is a this is a good question this is where, where the secret lies so Diana, for me for me well actually it depends on every single neural language coach but i'm happy to to share with you what i did and this is actually what brought me new clients new learners so i'm going to tell what happened uh, with me so when, when even when taking the program, not fini when finishing, but while I was doing the program and while I was being trained, I asked for permission to my learners to implement these techniques that I was being trained yeah. with. They agreed, so I started day by day I was studying new techniques that Rachel was sharing with us because the, the, the program is very practical. We also have some theory there, of course, is needed, but, but from day zero, we start practicing. Mm -hmm. yes. So I, I shared this, this new approach to my learner, and they were amazed because they saw the results, definitely. So um, while doing this, I was working uh, with my, uh, uh, my digital persona in Facebook, in Instagram, also preparing my website. So it was a step-by-step, -step gradual, but very disciplined, you know, I'm very yes, disciplined. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> a strategy, a strategy. Uh, and this, Seriana, brought me new customers, new clients, new learners, because my three neuro language coaches uh, brought me new, new neuro language coaches because they could see and feel the method. And after that, as I was working on my website, I also came, uh, became some, some clients from my website. And, and I, have to, I have to say that I'm very happy about that because now I have, or at least I think I have a lovely website. At least it represents me and it represents what I am and what I offer and what you can expect from me. Um, but the website is fantastic, but for me it's like a Gucci store in a desert now because I have not worked my CEO yet. And even though, and even I, I, impl I, I introduced a website in September and no, I have done no CEO work at all, I already have five, five plus customers, new customers, Great. only from my website. So I'm very excited. I'm yes. very excited. Yes, fantastic. And I'm considering all the other stages of my business because of achieving clients too. So this is, you never start working in your personal brand, huh? but it's, I'm very happy because I see results myself too, as well as my learning. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Monica, thanks a lot for sharing. And um, I would li I'd like to also know about the persona of your learners. So are, are these just, you know, everyone so uh, are your coaches um entrepreneurs or maybe they are just students so what is um who is your client mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, most of my clients 90 percent of my clients are um international entrepreneurs business people university students who want to learn spanish and, and catalan with me you know them to improve their businesses or their life in general uh, this would be like 90% of my of my uh, coaches, and 10% would be um, adolescents, Spanish and Catalan adolescents who want to improve uh, their English. Um, so yes, this, this this would be mainly my my clients, but um, most of them are mature clients who uh, were completely blocked before meeting me who were unmotivated, who were desperate, who were tired of the same unit one of nationalities, the same unit two of verbs to be in a Spanish. They didn't want that anymore. They have a job and they want to succeed in this job and they need the language for that or they have a life objective. For instance, I have a learner who is uh, a consultant, he's 
if it's a very good consultant in climate change, he needs a Spanish in order to go to South America and, and talk about his consultancy. He wants to talk about climate change. He doesn't want to talk about uh, going on holiday, for instance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we completely mm -hmm. adapt to that. Yeah. Then I have, for instance, other coaches talking about adolescents. Well, I have a coachee and she loves Harry Potter. Now all our English lessons are concentrated in Harry Potter. You would be amazed what you can do. There are some other coaches, for instance, who are very good at art. We implement this art, this creativity, uh, con they, they implement it constructing, building mind maps of the mechanical goals, the grammar points that we discuss. So it's amazing. Actually, it's not only about learning a language, but knowing what you love, and this thing that you love turns music into a language learning process itself. So it's you who learn in the way you want to learn and what you need to learn. 100%. You are connected with you and with what you love. Um, so may then say that uh, neural language coaching is for everyone. So is it suitable for every single person who um, maybe is tired of learning from from the book and maybe like doing the same old thing throughout I don't know years? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Because as I said, we are not only language coaches that you can find them. Of course, they exist, but our, our key point here is understanding the person, understanding the blockages, understanding the bag that we have in our, uh, the backpack we have in our bag with our stones, because that's normal, that's life. Mm -hmm. And we even with that, we know how to uh, make our learners uh, succeed. So, so um, if it's for blocked students, if it is, of course, also for every kind of a student or learner, because um, we adapt to what they love. And you, of course, with this era of technology that is very important, also want to be treated as unique and understood as unique, as a holistic human being, and we transform that into a holistic learner. Thanks to this method. Yeah, perfect. Um, Monica, um, I just also would like to inform everyone uh, who is listening to us and who will be watching us in the recording that you are quite successful uh, having been practicing neural language coaching uh, for one year, I would say, right? Um, mm -hmm. You have quite a good result uh, because you've got lots of clients that you even have to share with uh, with some other coaches. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing, like really great result. Uh, so what are the key factors that uh, helped you succeed? Placing my learners in the center of their learning universe. Forgetting about me, leaving my ego outside the room, leave, leaving my me outside the room, leaving my limits outside the room. Listening, deep active listening, understanding what they want, understanding their, their pain points, not judging them, uh, shifting from, from empathy into compassion so they understand I can help them without judging them, without um, uh, even thinking about that and always, always, always motivating them and making sure they feel comfortable, making sure they are corrected the way they want to be corrected, making sure that they are learning what they love in the way they like to be lo uh, learning, asking all the time and, and um, understanding that um, they are here because they want to be listened and they want to achieve their goals in the best option possible and above all in a brain friendly way. So for me, understanding that, uh, for me, understanding that the learner rhythm is the most important thing. Using silence when it's needed because um, people need to have time to, to understand and to learn. Uh, not correcting them, using a very, very compassive language, uh, also blending some, some non-violent communication in the sessions, and, and after every single session, making sure that my learners are happy.
and they have achieved what they want to achieve. Perfect. So um, I do believe that it's some sort of discovery for you, like learn, teaching or coaching uh, your coaches, your clients. is a complete discovery. You know, you, you never know what, what it's going to be like. Um, and maybe it's quite a relief um, from, you know, point of view of a teacher because you give all this responsibility to the person who actually needs to be in charge of this learning path, of, of this learning process. So great, great. It's, it's just perfect, I guess. Uh, and Monica, uh, my probably last question would be from, from me, uh, since we have talked a lot about your experience uh, and about past, what are your future plans? What are your ambitions? Please share. Okay, this 2019 has been, it has not been a, tra a transformation year for me. No, no, it has been a transmutation year. Oh. <laughs> yes, in, in every single aspect and in narrow language coaching in particular, so I'm very happy about that. And 2020, uh, I am a passionate narrow language coach. I want to um, giving, I, I want to give, uh, uh, and I want to share my knowledge to my learners and, and I want to keep on being with them and doing these, these sessions. Uh, and I am also very interested in, in, in learning more in depth about coaching, more in depth in what we want to achieve in life and uh, sharing my experience of creating my personal brand, my digital persona and my online business to neuro language coaches, to language specialists, and in the future to every single person who wants to create a business. And women also, why not? I am a woman. Eh? So, so, so it, it, I think it's, it's important to, to, to share that too. So this would be my idea uh, for the future. And, um, and what about you, dear Soriana? <laughs> Unexpected. Amazing objectives too. Well, uh, speaking about neural language coaching and just putting everyone into the picture, so I have just finished the course, um, and um, I've been taking it. Um, live, let's say, um, offline uh, from Rachel directly. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, I think that um, it's, it's quite a challenge for me now to make this transition, this instant transition, because uh, I have been teaching for 10 years plus, and it's even harder for me to switch from this directive style to a non-directive one. Um, so it takes a lot of reflection for me. So I do need to think and be aware of what I'm doing at the lesson, which is obviously quite different from what I used to do. So for me, it's going to be my number one goal uh, mm -hmm. to be a more professional um, neuro language coach uh, and to implement all the tools, all the techniques that I've learned and I have taken from the course into, into practice. So that's going to be the, you know, the inner side, maybe my personal uh, goal. And on the other side, I do want also to establish a clear message to my clients, to my learners, because it's neuro language coaching is not something like, um, chair buying a chair or or sofa oh, no. or a <laughs> table that's something uh, a no. bit more complex that needs explanation clear um explanation in simple words so i do want to communicate this message i do want to um get it uh across um maybe with the help of my website because obviously i work online so i do need to work on that as well so that's going to be my sort of you know um outer um goal uh, and maybe together eventually i hope uh, <laughs> i will be able to bring something very high quality to um to a potential client um and will make him or her benefit from this product. So I mm -hmm. do want to, to do that. Um, and thanks again for the question, Monica. So, yeah. Yes, so actually it's important what you're saying. You are aware of, of this shift and actually it's a revolution uh, and, and, and it's a revelation uh, at the same time. 
And you're making me think, Soriana, because now that we are in November, now that we are in a pre-Christmas mood, maybe we could, we could give your listeners uh, a pre-Christmas present. What do you think? Great, great. Well, I shall, think, shall I go for I mean, it like that? Yeah, like, I, love like that. <laughs> I love presents. I love presents. Well, because we're talking about neural language coaching, this method that has been <clears throat> uh, um, done by Rachel Marie Pelling and accredited by the ICF. And this is what we are talking now in this interview. So maybe to make things clear, maybe uh, we could share two uh, articles of Rachel when you put the, the, um, this video in YouTube. That is uh, the difference between language teaching, language coaching, and neural language coaching. That this is a very beautiful article. Another article are the seven points uh, that, uh, that neural language coaching deal with that That's why I summarized this fantastic article in my website with icons. And also, um, yeah, we could share that Rachel has a, a very powerful website uh, that is called Efficient Language Coaching, where you tap into the webinar, into the webinar, and you can see there that the, the days and times she's available for a free webinar. So you can ask her, whatever you want about this method. Uh, and I'm sure she's going to explain it better than I, I've done. But honestly, she's <laughs> is, is there, she's available, she's, 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 she's here. So, so, and I think she, she would give you very, very important content for you to think about if, if this is for you as a teacher. Uh, and, and a teacher that wants to transform and, 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 and be a neural language coach. Because, for instance, now this uh, Friday she's in Moscow and she's going to, to start a live course there. I know that at the end of November she's doing two online courses, one evening time and one weekend time. So this Christmas you can get an intensive course and get accredited as a neural language coach. So please feel free to, to, to say hi, to drop her a line. And I'm sure she would be happy to, to talk to you. And there's no better present for you than, than knowledge and then, and then taking care of you as a person and, and, and giving you a present that resonates with you, with who you are and with what you do and what you, can, you want to share to the world. How about that? Yeah. Christmas is here. Sounds great. Sounds great. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, it's a great idea of yours, Monica. Thanks a lot. Um, uh, and I, I have already shared the website. I'm not really sure if it's clickable. Probably it's not. But um, I think it's, it's not going to be a problem just to visit it and find uh, the free webinar that Monica has yeah. told us about. Um, either way, even if you are a bit too skeptical, you can always check for yourself, yes. right? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Because, uh, it's, and, and maybe before the webinar, you are interested in, in, in watching the testimonials that you have, you find in the website. And it's very eye, an eye opening exercise to read the testimonials because you will find people from everywhere in the world. Uh, different languages, different ideas, different perspectives. We are all different. But we all, I don't know why, hmm, happen to find a connection with this method that makes our learners to connect with themselves, to connect with them, go their goals and succeed. So maybe it could be worth having a chat with Rachel or even just looking at the website and, and just pop in when it's the right time for you. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, knowledge is So let's, let's, let's please keep this in mind. Huh? Knowledge is power. It is. It is. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, I'm just checking uh, with you guys, like everyone who is listening, uh, feel free to ask questions uh, because uh, right now, Monica, um, and probably I can help as well, like we can answer uh, any questions of yours. So do feel free to type your questions in uh, because I'm just, uh, again, checking back and forth if we have something. Um, not many questions. Uh, does it mean, Monica, that we've done a really good job <laughs> in answering? Oh, one, one, one. I agree that I agree that there was one viewer here saying that it's it's powerful to leave your ego outside the session. Yeah. And 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 I agree with her completely because it's not about us. 
uh, is about our clients, our learners, to learn by doing. Mm -hmm. So we shift them from this passive role into an active role. So I do really agree with this viewer. And um, yes, yes, I love that. Mina says yeah. that. Yes, uh, definitely, Mina. I, I agree with you because then everything changes. And when you feel responsible from your learning process, I mean, honestly, you cannot lie to yourself. You can lie to many yeah. people, maybe, but you can lie to, to, to yourself because you know you have the opportunity in front of you and you know you cannot miss it. And this is honestly a completely shift for the learner too. So, and, and usually our learners are not um, um, very are surprised when we ask them, what do you want to learn? How do you want to learn it? Because they are not used to it. Uh -huh. yeah, uh, we agree with Mina. Maybe Mina should, should meet Rachel. Uh, yeah, we agree with Mina. And also there was another um, uh, viewer that said that this is impressive or, or is empowering. Yeah. And it is. And you don't. It yes. is. And you don't. It is inspiring. It is. Because if you, can, if you don't connect with yourself and with your motivation, you are going to do nothing. And we know that. That's why we first start digging into the motivation before anything else, because this is, this is key. Yeah. So, yes, it's, it's empowering, it's, it's different, it's special, and it's very, very, very powerful. Yeah, something, definitely something that you should try, um, just yes. because the opportunity uh, is there on, on the surface. So mm -hmm. why not? Mm -hmm. So, Monica, thank you very much for everything. Since we don't don't have any other questions, but if uh, something uh, pops up and you would like to know more um, about neuro language coaching or maybe Monica's or my practice, do feel free to contact us because we're quite open. Uh, we, we do, uh, yeah, we, we do answer uh, all the questions. Um, maybe not instantly, but we we. <laughs> We're doing our best in this. Our best. I'm sure this is going to be fantastic. And, and yes, and Venezia and Barcelona, this 2020, I hope that we are going to be near. We're yeah. going to yeah. work together, maybe too. So, Blada. Hi, Blada. <laughs> Blada she, she, she was one of my colleagues in the training. So, um, she's a very, very good neuro language coach, Blada. Oh. This is amazing. Uh, well, here, Mina, uh, she was saying, how can read about difference between coaching? Yes, Mina, no problem, because Soriana is going to put the links of these two articles we were talking about when she puts the video on YouTube. So you are going to be surprised, and, and it's going to be an eye-opening exercise and article for you, and it's going to be very clear what's the difference between uh, language teaching, language coaching, and neuro-language coaching. This is an article that Rachel wrote, so you're going to have it there, and then you can come to us for questions or Rachel directly in her webinar, so here you are. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I will... Um try to keep this video for everyone who um, is not with us but who would like to be um, it's going to be on YouTube um, and also I think that we can uh, also share it uh, on Facebook um, because yes. uh, it's probably even more convenient for, for longer videos um, yes so and <laughs> sorry about these long <laughs> videos but yes, yes sorry but we we did want to you know discuss everything uh yes. so my dear friends my dear colleagues uh and monica thanks a lot for being here for taking the time for for sharing because you're amazing and w w what you are doing is absolutely inspiring so i hope you've got this little spark or maybe even more like more sparks uh, <laughs> that will ignite you to go on and to see all the beauty of teaching practice um yes. which is which is fantastic i think our profession is the best um i think that's that's what we're doing that's what we're we, we feel it exactly exactly we all have this spark and part of our job is to, to make our learners understand that and make them rediscover this spark so they shine. 
Perfect. So thank you, Sir Rihanna, for giving me the time to explain myself, and 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 I do really appreciate that. So a big, uh, a big kiss. I am Mediterranean. Sorry, we we kiss. <laughs> A big kiss uh, and a big, big, big hug for you. And thank you. And and take care to you all. Please, all the best for you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks bye. everyone. Bye 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 bye.